What is going Never We back at it again with some more for y'all in Dragon Ball Super. You feel me? Return of Fallen Gods. Happy Thanksgiving. After this video, bro, I'm about to. You feel me? <laughs> I'm, already, I'm already hungry as it is right now, low key. <laughs> but anyway, the show must go on. Last episode, our boy Beerus, one of the ones with Reno. Should put my hands up. He's still crashing out like he got a chance in hell against my boy Beerus. Now again, me personally, I don't think Beerus needs to go full power against this nigga Reno, but it is what it is. Tight you, B. Cobras better pull up. All the niggas better pull up. I need all the niggas to get humbled. You feel me? So nobody about to disrespect my 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 God. But again, you feel me? And then the, the, the big four in verse 18. Fighting against Sasquatches, you know what I'm saying? Endangered species. These motherfuckers on blue level. Like they, they on blue level? That's crazy. Then again, like I said, they they on Lord Primos's uh, you know what I'm saying? Planet. So yeah. Anyway, give it up a like, comment down below, and subscribe for the 3K. So you're not subscribed, subscribe. Hit the bell. Fight on Patreon, Twitch, and the game channel. Stick in the description down below. You feel me? Subscribe to Alex. Get built the good milli. You feel me? And yeah, Davoni. Never ever go on to forget. Hmm. No finale, huh? Was there ever even a series to begin with? <laughs> As our story now continues, following the initial rematch, hey, in the Universe 7's God of Destruction beer is going up against Universe 13's God of Destruction Reno. To which, upon their battle being shown taking place, as both angels went on to watch very carefully, was when Angel Pinota went on to then respond, "But I don't understand, because Lord mm -hmm. Beerus was nowhere near as powerful, nor was he nearly as impressive as he was when Lord Reno had faced him before. And so, mm -hmm. what exactly did he go and do that has allowed for him to not only grow stronger as a God of Destruction, but to also go as far as to mix in and use the power of Ultra Instinct as well?" With Whis responding, well, "Yes, sir." For nothing, but Lord Beerus." isn't entirely wrong when he had mentioned on how it was mainly Lord Reno who was responsible for this having to happen but you fucked aside up aside from Lord Beerus' desire to get away from what's Beerus, happening right now is your fault give credit where credit is due because if it wasn't for our older brother Ivalco and the Saiyan mortal Go, who was there General to Ivalco. Lord Beerus when they <laughs> did well then none of this would have ended up being the case as it is happening right now and so you can't really go and fault Lord Beerus for doing what it is that he went and did you know with Angel Pinota responding hold on so Ivalka was the one who was responsible for Lord Beerus's evolution and having him ascend into wielding such power and you <laughs> also say that he was training with a mortal as well you mean yeah. that same Gohan which Lord Reno was shown taking down just before having to battle against his father and when exactly were you planning on telling me about all of this on my mouse Luis? and what I also want to know are the drawbacks behind this form which Lord anyway. Beerus currently wields because unless my eyes are playing tricks on me then he isn't able to hold on to such a power like that for a very long duration of time like how we are able to is that correct well mm -hmm. that is correct Weiss responds and although I didn't find the need to mention anything until coming here but well what I will go as far as to say is that although you are slightly she correct, didn't go high clapping your ass up you know to hold on to such a power for a long duration of time let's just say as we are able to since we are more exposed to using ultra instinct naturally and I think that Lord Beerus however will be just fine but Lord Beerus wasn't the only one who was also shown having to evolve himself because coincidentally that very same mortal whom Lord Reno was shown having to defeat was also able to do the same as well. He clapping him up too, bro. He truly was orchestrated by Lord Beerus following his defeat by the hands of Lord Reno after all because now it's all starting to make sense to me especially if Ivalco was the one who was responsible in helping him alongside that saying Yo, my mouth's not working. Gohan as well, to which all the while in the middle the hell? Reno then shown having to to quickly make his way towards Beerus with Beerus standing there and anticipating Reno's actions was when Beerus then went on to quickly respond what hmm? a shame that you refuse to accept my grace despite knowing that you are completely outclassed here against me destroyer enough as long will be the day where you will ever live Not to bad, see yourself either. besting me in a fight ever again Reno quickly responds For you're not built like that no more man break you in half and so now get over here Beerus 
Yes. Interesting. Beerus went on to quickly respond upon being shown having mm. to dodge each and every single one of Reno's attacks. But how could you claim for me to never live to see the day where I would best you in a battle when I am living through it right now within the moment while besting you in battle as we speak? Within the moment. Therefore, your arrogance in thinking that I wasn't going to pay you back for what Ooh. you did to me is almost as pathetic as your feet. Right, Mr. Thurnal. Beating me, Reno. Beerus went on to then uppercut Reno in the stomach by responding. And as I find it ironic that you claim to be the strongest. But yet, for someone who was supposed to be stronger than me, hmm? you sure don't appear to be faring up very well now. Oh, wait, it's holding you are just a brute, a mindless beast who enjoys throwing his weight around until nope. the very okay. day comes I'm I'm someone I'm throws it right. See why my mouth's not working. Reno, for you will never rise above your true nature because you could never go through what I had to go through in order to get to where I currently am. And so now the question. Hmm. Question becomes, what will you go and choose to do? Beerus responds. And as I ask you, do you give up and accept hmm? your position as being the inferior destroyer between us? Or should I go and have to further continue to make an example of you? Or how about I go and turn you into an example instead, Beerus? Or so you may go right. You can try. Upon being shown grabbing Not by the horn. horn. Attempting to go for a death blow now, are you? Think so, oh, did I get it now? The fuck? Says, which it was only suddenly with okay, there we go. Like, what the fuck? Was then spinning, we shit was throwing me out. Like, shit, I was cooking and shit was not working. To quickly add, you know, I must admit that seeing Lord Beerus be as extremely focused as he is currently shown being against Lord Reno is most definitely a pleasant surprise to see, and especially since he's never shown having to typically be this way. Swinging him by the horn, bro. Lord Beerus doesn't go and overexert himself to the point of draining himself of the power that he currently wields, Weiss continues. Mm. Otherwise, it would be extremely detrimental as he would be in big trouble if he does by the end of it all and I would only go as far as to say that this battle is already over with the exception of Lord Beerus getting Lord Reno to admit his defeat goodness mm. I can't remember the last time that I had went and seen Lord Beerus be this aggressive in a battle before Peñota went on to the you feel me he locked in to see each and every single one of Lord Reno's attacks coming as he is also seemingly doing it all with extreme caution and precision as well with Whis responding Lord Dear, careful now, Lord Beerus, for you mm. don't want to go and overdo it now. Well, even though you just went and destroyed Lord Reno's throne area and most of his arena here anyway. No, so, this in is my house. Really uncalled for, Weiss Pinota went on to then quickly respond. As deep down you know that it is, especially since Lord Reno wasn't expecting for a rematch to go and take place here between them as well. Well, to be fair here, sister, Lord Beerus wasn't prepared either for when... Yeah, the fuck, baby girl. No, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing, Mousy? The hell? I gotta clean it. I don't know what the fuck it is. Anyway, uh, yeah, y'all did the same thing to beers. What the hell? No, 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 Lord Reno had arrived and went on to challenge him to a fight the way he did on Lord Beerus's planet. And so let's not go and pretend that this wasn't going to happen because Lord hmm. Beerus is simply giving Lord Reno a taste of his own medicine. To which within that very moment as Reno's body was then shown sliding on down and having to now reach Beerus's feet beneath him was when Beerus then went on to respond. So are you finally starting to see the irony through Looking your down that nigga, bro. Pathetic. You had previously stood over me in victory only to now be the one who is tasting the bitter of humiliation against me fascinating isn't it and so while you are still able to move and while I am patient enough to show you mercy you should go and accept the reality of your current situation and give up while you still can or I will continue to smack you around your planet until I make you surrender against me Reno and as I mm. have warned you that your arrogance will be what leads to your downfall and now look for it was your overconfidence that had opened my eyes and allowed for me to see the bigger picture following your return and now that they are finally open I will never intend to go and make the same mistakes before your resurrection ever again Beerus continues and that includes <laughs> Lord Cobras, Lord Gardox and any of the other destroyers who think that they could just go and walk all over me like that again and nah, so facts. you have one of two choices to make either surrender your Bend the knee and admit that I am your superior in this battle or I am going to destroy you without 
the thought of hesitating, Beerus says, for I will go as far as to explain myself to the Grand Priest and the Omni Kings after the fact if needed. But you, however, will cease to you can't do that if you don't admit your defeat here against me, Reno. And don't you dare think that for one second I won't go and do it dirty. because you of all destroyers should already know that I would. And for the record, I truly never wanted for things to be this way between us, mm. and especially since we had once viewed each other as allies long ago. But this begotten grudge that you have held against me for so long is what brought us to this very point in time here and now. And so this is the price that you had to pay. And so what's it going to be? As Reno went on to mm. stand back up by responding, you. I will never admit defeat and surrender to the likes of you. Never. Whether you went on to discover a new power or not, Beerus, never. Do you hear me? For I will never bow before you as being the stronger mm. destroyer between us. But then, it was only suddenly just then from out of nowhere with Beerus being shown grabbing onto Reno's horn before kneeing him in the chin was when Beerus then mm. went to respond, you ignorant destroyer, and that is exactly why you are and in ignorant, yeah. to begin with. If, because you can't seem to accept the reality of your actions when consequences come knocking at your front door. Well then, face it, Reno, for you are without a chance of touching me, let alone actually winning. For not only are you completely outclassed and outmatched in this contest, mm, but you I are I hope you bit your tongue, nigga. outperformed in ways to which they are now starting to take its toll on you, destroyer. And if you think that I am gravely mistaken, then where did all of this overconfidence that you were just spewing against me suddenly go reno did i just mm. so happen to snuff the pride that you had just displayed against me right out of you throughout this battle or could your eyes be finally opening to the truth of the matter beerus went on to then toss reno aside <laughs> and while you may continue to go and, try and fight back against me you and i both know that this battle was already over the very moment i had went and touched down into your universe and so now accept it reno with reno being shown having to turn his head behind them by then responding no beerus this is over when i say that this is over and lucky enough for you this mm. ends right now beerus to which as reno was then shown having to You're going to do. a gigantic blast upon beerus was when beerus was shown having to stand idly still by then responding stubborn and prideful until the very end i see some things never change no matter how badly they try but no matter for this is going to be one mistake that I'll ensure you go and pay deeply for then, Reno. Yes, is she going to do it? Good. A direct landing, Angel Pinota went on to then quickly chime back in. Yes, as expected, which is surely bound to have made some kind of difference in this contest, with Whis chiming back in. Well, I wouldn't go that Yeah, I doubt that. I doubt it. <laughs> Face them from before. Well, then, yes, I could see as to how Lord Beerus would be in trouble, but this version of Lord Beerus is an entirely different destroyer. To which moments later, back down below, as the smoke was beginning to settle, as Reno was shown having to stand and acknowledging his efforts, was when Reno then mm. had to respond. There. Blitz. Now take that, you no good, lousy little vermin. It serves you right for thinking that could overthrow me and actually expect to get away with it so mm. how does it feel beerus how does it feel nigga i feel nothing lose to me once again in battle but then it was only just then from out of nowhere through the smoke before Reno even had the opportunity to finish his mm. sentence was when suddenly Ultra Beerus was shown having to attack Reno before Reno even had the opportunity to recognize as to what was happening as Beerus then went on to quickly respond wrong again god of destruction because it'll take an attack far more powerful than that to be what'll be strong enough to take me down and well Reno hey bro you had a good run you had went and put me through enough which had forced my hand into doing what it is that I needed to do to be where I currently am. And you had a good run. Because of this, <laughs> nothing that you go and try will be enough that will work, Destroyer. As you will have to need for a miracle to go and happen in order to get me to lose here against you. And so if you honestly and truly in your heart believe that I will allow for you to stand back up and continue to disrespect my presence while I stand before mm. you, then you are truly out of your mind if you think that I'm going to continue to give you any Damn. more chances when the reality... Not the foot on the head, Beerus. Hey! Destroyer, and so I said it before, and I will go on.
on to say it again, Beerus continues upon being shown pressing his foot down on Reno's head. For you had went and brought this upon yourself, Reno. For your reckless actions and overconfidence has now brought you to this very moment of utter humiliation, which was the same humiliation that you had went and put me through earlier. So how ironic, Beerus continues. But while I will admit that I was wrong to allow for my pride and for my overconfidence to cause such turmoil among us destroyers, I nope. now know that my actions and the way that I had treated you all was wrong, and for that, I apologize. He said However, sorry? Despite my admission of guilt, I will yeah, not leave fuck? your world until you acknowledge your place, and so this is going to be your final chance to surrender and admit your defeat in case, <laughs> or I swear to you on my honor that if you don't, then I am going to obliterate you from existence, Reno, and so don't continue to make this any harder for yourself than what it already is and say it. Wake up, destroyer, for I want you to go and say it, Beerus continues. <laughs> Bend the knee, nigga. Wait. Enough of this, for you have kept me waiting long enough, God of Destruction, and so it's time for you to go and make your choice here and now. So no, I'll throw that shot later. To be, Reno, and I am not going to ask you again. And just in case, if you think that I'm bluffing, then I want you to go and search my feelings, and you will see that I am dead set on wiping you out if it means establishing my position. And so mm. speak now, or I will end you where you lie, Reno. Alright, bend the knee. Enough, I give up. I quit. We know shouts. Oh, well, mm. here we have it. We went on to then raise his arm up by quickly having to shout for your winner of this rematch between Universe Sevens and Universe Thirteens Gods of Destruction. You feel me? Goes to Lord Beerus of the Sevens, and what a battle it was! But very good, Lord Beerus. Very good indeed, and so well done with Angel Pinota having to respond. <laughs> Chain disbelief. What I'm seeing, Lord Reno. Oh, I hope that he's okay because he appears to be in tremendous amounts of pain, and so I must hurry and go down there and check on him while I can. To which As Beerus was then. No, nah, she cares. By then having to oversee Reno was when Beerus then went on to respond, a wise decision, Destroyer, and so let this defeat against me go on to forever remind you of just who I am and what it is that I'm capable of. But I also want you to go as far as to also understand that we destroyers should not go and hold grudges towards one another unless of course we warrant for death to come knocking and so consider this moment as hmm. an act of mercy that was shown by me as well as having me hope that you have gone as far as to finally learn your lesson Reno for you are no match for me the way you are and unless you go and train to become stronger don't ever dare to challenge me to a fight ever again and so now what hmm. is done is done for let there be no more bad blood between us as you are also very fortunate that I had only utilized the quarter of my full power because had I went and used all of it against you then you would have been obliterated without a trace and so take that for God damn. will and know your place to never go and disrespect nor challenge me like that ever again a for quarter me now has finally been paid to which as we was then shown having to appear was when where God accept that little nigga man better you than me that was an extremely <laughs> Impressive display that you went on to showcase down here, Lord Beerus. And so I do hope that you are finally at ease with your previous loss against Lord Reno. But now that this rematch between you both is over, shall I go and take us back home so that we can go and treat you to a nice hot meal in the meantime? And as I'm pretty sure that you must be very hungry with all that you have done as of late. And so shall we go and get going? With Beerus responding, actually no, for I want you to go and take me into whichever I'm universe outside. those Saiyans happen to be in within the moment. For I oh wow. To see their progress along with what it is that they are all currently up to because it won't be long now until the word from our battle here is spread throughout the multiverse. And so because of this, I want you to go and take me to the mortals instead, for I'm curious to see on what their current situation is along with whom they are all currently dealing with. As it was I don't know. Why am I not tripping, bro? During that moment, where the Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of the resurrected fallen gods of destruction, the universe 18 saga, manga chapter number 4 special then comes to a 
close. Well, actually, I'll go ahead and take it from here, as I do want to go as far as to address something very important. I can't stop it. At the moment, as before, I go and give you the following information. If you aren't already a member of Unreal's Patreon community, then you are truly missing out on so much without you even knowing. Because not only is the next episode already on the page, but if you want to support all of the manga content that you see and gain access to, oh, that's a sensitivity shit. I did not know that. <sighs> okay, y'all, we back. Auto mercy, bro. I thought my mouse was tripping. I thought I had to try to get a new one. I'm like, oh my god, I ain't got time for that. You feel me? But I did something. You feel me? I looked on video on YouTube. <laughs> I ain't see nothing useful, bro. But cause, cause I got the razor. I forgot what the fuck. I got the box somewhere, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah the razor stuff. I took the thing out. I plugged it back in on a little the charging port thing. You know what I'm saying? And I guess that worked. You feel me? Because I'm about to say, bro. I'm like, bro, ain't no way I was using this fucking mouse yesterday, bro. <laughs> ain't no way you tripping on me right now. I plugged in my other mouse, my backup mouse that came that came with this PC that I got. I plugged that shit in. That shit wasn't working. That shit was not clicking. I'm like, what's, what, 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 what's going on over here, bro? So we fixed it, bro. Okay, mercy. Ugh. Anyway, yeah, Reno, he bend the knee as he should because Billy's about to add that bit. Hey. <laughs> you about to air that bitch out on that man, bro. But anywho, who? Now, now what? You know, what I'm saying like, like, what are you gonna do? Like, is he gonna train? Try to con contend? You feel me? I don't know. But at the same time, he's he's he, he did say he was he was using a quarter. Anyway, let's go on to the next video, shall we? Dun -dun. But I, but I was fucking my whole morning, bro. A whole As Thanksgiving morning, man. Following the initial battle within Universe 18 with yeah, Broly Destruction ain't got no chance in hell, bro. Taking on full powered Super Saiyan Broly. He's up for him. The fearsome Alpha Destroyer now shown having to gain leverage in overtaking Broly in battle with Broly barely being able to defend himself was when Primal then went on to respond. Hmm? What happened, Saiyan? Have yeah, you what happened? Yet, or are you still hungry for some more? For I can feel your frustration. Ugh, it's working now, finally. I'm like, bro. To overwhelm you. And while I expect for you to Show me and it was crazy too, yo. It was crazy. Cause when I went to sleep, I woke up. I was like, "Why that light on on the mouse?" I said that shit to myself. Something ain't right. <laughs> I said that shit. But anyway, I'm, I'm rambling, bro. Just technical issues, but like when you try to do, you know, say anything in the world of computers and shit, and shit don't work, you get annoyed. <laughs> but anyway. Of power than the one that you are currently wielding here against me. And I find it very amusing at the same time to watch you cry out in agony like this. Yeah, bro, ain't got no chance. Keep on trying to attack me and continue to struggle to resist. Gotta go chain. You gotta go train, big bro. Make your defeat that much more go see my nigga Dinner of Alco, bro. He'll get you right. Break you in half by the very end of all of this, mortal. And so now come on and show me what you got to which as Broly was then shown striking Primus was when Primus was then shown unfazed by then responding there you see for mortal power will always be second to that of a god and so mm. you might be considered to be all powerful among your kind but when compared to an alpha destroyer such as me you are but a speck of dust in the wind Broly. bro we're not supposed to even be here fam so all that you've got say in this so called legend Legendary form, this primal fury of yours, because that was just pathetic. And so while you can pathetic go and try, just know that with every strike that you land and with every ounce of energy that you expend, it will only bring you ever so closer towards your ultimate demise. That much I can promise you. Mm. As you and I both know that you can win. Rag dolly, my boy, man. Lost the moment you stepped foot into my universe. Where was some wasn't we were trying to come here, right? Y'all keep harassing us. A bunch of trees. For you could have went and avoided all of this. All this pain and all this suffering could have been avoided if you had simply complied with my wishes to kneel before my presence, but instead mm -hmm. you went and chose defiance over your own survival. As your defiance Broly. Broly, sheesh. Mistaken, one that will cost you everything. As Bro, I got no chance. You regret that 
decision with every fiber of your being for you you gotta go train you talking Oof. I have ever seen Primus continues to Somebody gonna help my nigga Broly bro he getting his ass beat <laughs> you are supposed to be the broken his ass beat bro champions, please don't make me laugh for your strength is but a joke and a laughable attempt at mimicking the gods for your strength mm. is but a joke and a laughable attempt at mimicking the gods and here you assume that you be a threat to me for you are no threat to me not by a long shot saying but go ahead and try to prove me wrong and like I you like being, being no niggas that that's weaker than you huh why never I ain't no challenge match my power go fight bears right quick for this is all but an example oh yeah ain't he, ain't he still say pulling up now go and ask yourself if you're even smart enough to go and think on your own without losing sight of the reality you face and ask yourself on what is the point of your rage and your anger if you have no other way of controlling it to your advantage saying because by the end of it all none of it means anything to me either mm. way and so the longer this goes then the faster you'll be able to see on how quick i will be stripping you away of this false sense of primal power while I go and tear it all down layer by layer until you are finally reduced to nothing but a hollow shell of what you once thought you stood for and while I will give it to you and say that you are by far the longest lasting mortal opponent that I have mm. yet to face in a battle which speaks hit my nigga with the dynamic entry ability that you have in the face me even mountains can be eroded by the relentless force of nature and I am the most relentless force that you will ever face Primos continues and so let this serve as being one of many of the examples of my fury that you will yet to go and experience mm. throughout this battle saying as you are but a disgrace go talking my Broly get up in the first place, bro. oh my god Broly get his ass beat bro god of destruction isn't just just for show, Primos continues upon being shown stomping down on Broly's back, but it was a title that was earned throughout countless victories during my time, including victories that happened to involve other gods of destruction too. And what's even more is that includes your destroyer as well. And so if the other hey, gods of you're destruction old shit, bro. It's the present. <laughs> elsewhere within universe 18's forest as vegeta and goku were shown having to deal with the primal warrior simius was when goku had gone as far as to look on mm. over by noticing the destruction waged by primos by responding bro get his ass this beat bro looking good for broly out there and the longer that we're kept away from him while that god of destruction has him all to himself then the higher the chances are going to be that he isn't going to be able to make it out of this and so we've got to but then didn't hurt him beat our damn sasquatch bro vegeta here goku then went on to kick simius towards vegeta with vegeta being shown grabbing Simeus in a headlock now go and leave to go and put you in charge by taking care of this one and so in the meantime while you do Goku says now go and see if I can go and get that god of destruction to lay off Broly while I still can and so in the meantime while I do you go and do what needs to be done since these guys are hell-bent on taking us down while I go and try to get Lord Primos's attention away from Broly oh great Vegeta says well either way now that I have you right where I want you probably me look at my nigga bro Holy bro you can hold your breath and keep this going before I snap your neck and put you out of your misery for good because you got damn orangutan go find out and not waste any time then to which back on over with primos being shown standing over Broly was when primos then went on to respond what's this finished already are you well too bad because you and I are not done so if you expect to last any longer while you're trapped within my universe for the time being then I I want you to get up right now. I don't think I will, nigga. How about that? Save you from what I had promised that you had coming on Beerus's world, and so it would be wise for you to go and get up and try again, or I'll just continue to crush your skull beneath my foot until I crack you mm. open like an egg. That's even good off my man. Leave Broly out of this because if you're looking for a real challenge, then me and Vegeta are right here waiting for you. Goku shouts, mm. "You again!" As if you and that other puny Saiyan are worth having me waste my time on such low level strength like the ones that you are currently using is a slap to my mm -hmm. face sir 
Baron, so stop trying to pretend mm. as though you are going to make some kind of a difference in saving your ally Primals went on to the Right in the sternal. Away, and go back and wait your turn if my Primal Warriors don't already end you instead. With Broly being shot. You're trying to fight them weak ass Sasquatches, bro. Responding. D don't engage against him like that, Kakarots. At least he could, you know what I'm saying? Bro, look at you, fam. You can't even get up, fam. Focus back towards Broly. For I want you to go and take a good look around you, Broly, because no one is coming to save you. Go on, hurry up, bro. You stand alone here against the most ruthless thinking ultimate destruction among them all. As I promise that this will be the very grab my nigga by his scruff. No, you didn't. And so no more distractions and no more interruptions because now it's back to business between you and I and you better find the strength to stand back up because we are far from finished here, Broly. Oh mm. no, it looks like not even dad is able to get close enough and hoping to make some kind of a difference out there against that. Well, he was in blue. He should have went ultra instinct. Yeah, well, it looks like it's got to be me then, Gohan responds. Time, it's, it's your time, Gohan. Or try to get myself close enough to help aid Broly in this battle without having one of these drag me back and further away from the action and so for mm. the time being I'm stuck in this position unless I'm forced to go all in against them and so it looks as though I'm left with no other options so that way I can go and help them out out there but then it was only just upon with the primal Pay attention being shown grabbing onto Gohan's hair before being shown headbutting him was when Gohan quickly they went on to respond oh to listen to what I'm trying to tell you here we don't have to continue to do this we don't have to fight to the death because I'm not trying to hurt you but then with the primal hey, trying to know that bro completely being shown disregarding Gohan's comments upon your goddamn Sasquatch bro they, they, don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't know they don't understand English <laughs> and reasoning <laughs> just pure ignorance to be destroyed. Sasquatch, use head bash. Right, you overgrown primates. I tried being as reasonable as I could in order for me to try and see if I can get you to huh. understand. But since you don't appear as though you want to go and even listen to anything that I have to say, go huh. on responds. Just to know that I tried warning you and uh -oh. since you are not going to listen and since you're going to try and attack me again anyways, then why don't you come and try that one on me again? Because it's time that I go and show you a little something and reveal to you as to what we in the seventh universe are really made of. Talk your ish. Remember, I tried being civil with you, but you left me with no other choice since this was what you wanted out of me, Gohan's or the going beast. Player up upon Goro being shown dashing right towards him. And so whatever comes next will be something that you will only have yourself and your god of destruction to blame. Because you and I know that it didn't have to be this way, but while you still choose to resist, understand that everyone's actions comes with dire consequences, and this one here is going to be be yours and so you should hmm? feel honored because you are going to be the very first person outside of lord beerus to see what it is that i'm about to go and show you to which suddenly then within that moment as a massive aura burst was then shown having to emanate within the forest and <laughs> everyone else's attention was when primals then went on to further question wait a second where is this massive and sudden burst of power coming from another destroyer or no no, this mm -mm. power isn't coming from any other god of destruction. For this very energy appears to be coming from one of those Saiyan mortals instead. Tengoku still oh, sit down. Was that just now, Kakarot? What's going on over there? Is that Broly that I'm sensing out there, or what? With Goku responding, oh, it's n no, but I. I Go on. I think that it's coming from Gohan. Oh, That's my seed. Wait, yes, I think that it really is coming from Gohan. Vegeta. Got Broly by his scruff. Broly is base form. Oh my God, bro. Was suddenly shown oh, bro, to spit out blood from his mouth bro. was when Gohan then went on to respond. And so now I hope that you understand that this was why I was trying to reason with you in the first place instead of having you push me into going all out like this. Uh -oh. But since you did, after I tried warning you not to go and press your luck, maybe now you can see on why I was trying to be so civil with you in not having this end in such a barbaric way. And while 
while I didn't have the need to go all out like this against you, Gohan, then went on mm. to surprisingly reveal his ultimate beast form. It's become we put a hole in that nigga. Isn't done for the purpose of using such power against you, but it's more about getting your god of destruction to realize that what he is trying to do here and the reasons behind his onslaught. You probably could have went decent and knocked that nigga out. And so because of this, I'm sorry, but you went and brought this onto yourself when I tried to reason with you several times before. And so now that this is done, accept your fate and just please stay down for you don't have to make this any worse. And so because of that, you should just close your eyes and rest peacefully. Gohan then went on to mm. his hand upon being shown impaling Goro with his fist. And so in the meantime, now that you are out of my way, it's time for Broly to go and set the example in doing what I did in order to finally realize the depths of what he is truly capable of despite having to face such challenges. And so through this, because while I know that it might not be easy for him to go and do, Gohan continues, I still have to go and try to get him to awaken what I know lies deep within him. Because if I was able to go and do it, then I know that he could also go and do it too. To which all the while in the meantime, with Goku being shown looking on in absolute despair, Good go, huh? Before Vegeta was then shown Good way on beast, though. I don't think that they go. That's the one that they need. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That nigga. Ultimate beast, go, huh? Will you? Well, I don't think so. Not on my watch. And so quit wasting our time in trying to defend your deranged god of destruction. Whoa, what? What is this? Goku then went on to further question. Goku's mm. power, it, it's, it's unlike anything that I've ever seen come from him before. Vegeta, are you seeing this too? Gohan's transformed into something entirely new and his power, it's, it's off the charts as I've never seen anything like this come from anyone before. Yeah. I never went and felt anything like that either, but now that we are able to get a move on, let's hurry and jump into our own. Yeah, he snapped that nigga neck. Properly while we still can before that god of destruction decides to turn him into a pile of jelly out there. Well, how interesting. Primos then went on to slam Broly's head down onto the ground before having to be shown addressing Gohan's power. Yes, mm. how interesting indeed. And so now let's go and see what this is all about then. And so in the meantime, while I go and cater to your mortal allies, since it would appear as though my primal warriors were simply too pathetic to stop them alone, I want mm -hmm. you to go and stay right there as we'll resume our battle in just a Why you got mount my nigga like that, bro? Get off my mans. Oh, just upon with Primos being shown having to do this with the ultimate beast Gohan being shown walking through the trees and addressing Broly was when Gohan then went on to quickly respond. Now, I know that you can go and hear me out there, Broly, and so I need for you to go and listen to every word that I say because you are not like the rest of us and deep down you know that to be true and so don't let whatever that destroyer says be what breaks your spirit in battle, Gohan continues. Mm. As not only have you fought alongside the absolute strongest in the entire multiverse, but you have Come on, also huh? learned from the very best that there is and so your potential is unmatched. Talk so to him. You to let him know. Down deep within yourself and control the monster that lies within you, Gohan continues. And so don't go and let this destroyer shatter your honor as you and I both know that deep down as not only do you bear the power to surpass these gods of destruction but you also have the potential to become the most powerful Saiyan mortal in the entire multiverse. If you mm. just go and learn to control the beast from within and find a way to break through your anger and use it as a way to evolve. Well, well, well. And evolve. Hey, listen to him. Hey, go off our mans, nigga. Look at you still on my nigga. Full and undivided attention after all. Yeah, yeah. double dynamic entry. Transformation of yours is most certainly impressive, but your words of encouragement towards your ally here falls on Death's ears for his spirit is already crushed and your efforts to try and motivate him are clearly in vain primos went on to then press mm -hmm. his head down onto the ground by responding early get up has already been broken and there is nothing that you can possibly say to this fallen mortal you did to my nigga back together for soon you will go and witness as he will be destroyed by the weight of his own fail but then it was suddenly from out of nowhere before primos stop yapping nigga get off my man as far as to finish his sentence was when both mastered ultra instant goku and ultra ego vegeta had gone as far as to swoop in and kicking primals from behind as vegeta then went on to quickly respond you newly resurrected gods of destruction are truly stupid
starting to get under my skin since returning, hmm. and so we don't think so. And while we can't continue to allow for you to go and take whatever grudge that you have with Lord Beerus onto us, and especially with Broly Goku, then went on to respond, I would strongly urge for you to reconsider, as I would go and think twice about this if I were you, Lord Primos. As Gohan then went on to further address Broly by then responding, This is your chance to remember on how far you've come and to embrace the uh -oh. pain that you've experienced throughout your life and using it as the is he gonna evolve? To guide you, Broly. For I know what it feels like to have that rage consume you, and I know what it feels like to experience the pain of loss. And so that is why you should go and use me as your greatest example, because if I was able to conquer it, then so can you. And so you can't mm. just go and back down now, for we are all in this together, and if we were able to push ourselves beyond our limits into entering the realm of the gods, then so can you. As Bully then went Talk to, to him. Shockingly open his eyes by having his body then he shut him. So Broly, get up! <laughs> you have made the sacrifices necessary to help you and reach down deep within your soul and control Come on, Broly, the monster right. that slumbers within you. For there is a reason as to why you are referred to as wielding the power of the original legendary Super Saiyan. And if there was ever a better time for you to go and awaken this legendary power from within and control it, then there is no better time for you to go and, and beat that Sasquatch's ass, bro. Right as it was only right then and there now during that moment where the beyond dragon ball super story of the resurrected fallen gods of destruction the universe 18 saw oh no Chapter five special then comes to a close well actually i'll go ahead and take so i guess god thought going out gonna fight uh uh primos you know what i'm saying i think it's serious bro stand on goodness who, who wants smoke okay all right man Look what, he, look what he did to my man. Look what he doing to my man's, bro. We're gonna get it back in blood, bro. Don't worry. If he does evolve, what the hell are you gonna turn into? Super Super Saiyan 4, maybe? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what, what Alice cooks up. You feel me? I thought it was gonna be uh Gohan fighting against uh Primos. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Cause uh, hey, look, that's our best chance right now on the battlefield. But look, if Broly evolves, hey. I'm, I'm good with it because look, Gardox, not Gardox. Uh, oh my god, having a brain fart. Grizzlord, there we go. Grizzlord was, ha was handling my nigga too, bro. It's like, damn. Damn. Yeah, go. Bro, he made his W against a god of destruction. You know what I'm saying? By himself. Yeah. Everybody, else, everybody, else, everybody else got their solo dub. You feel me? Goku, Vegeta, Gohan. You feel me? Go. Bro, it's your turn, fam. You know what I'm saying? Destroy this Sasquatch <laughs> on me. But anyway, thanks for watching. You know what I'm saying? You guys enjoyed this reaction. Hit the video up with a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Go to 3K. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Hit the bell. Follow you on Patreon, Twitch, and the game channel. Leave in the description down below. Subscribe to Alex. Give brother 2 million subscribers. Again, happy Thanksgiving. Hope y'all eat good. Hope y'all have fun, a good time, all that good jazz. You feel me? Uh, yeah, love y'all. Now, see y'all the next one. Peace.